I thought I'd share uh, these slides with you because Dan, I mean, the king, it is his court, right? King Dan wanted this evening to be about hope and encouragement. And I trust that regardless of where you are in your life, regardless of the challenges or the difficulties or the dreams you may be pursuing, that one of the messages you'll take away from these slides and the thoughts I'll share with you is one of hope. One that says there's always something better around the corner. And that that will encourage you to keep on pushing to live your best life. You know, you may not realize this, but in addition to the fact that Dan and I look so much alike, I mean, you can tell we're practically twins, <laughs> we, we, we have a lot in common, not least of which is the fact that we are both big dreamers. It is our dreams that give us hope. It is my dream, it's Dan's dream, it's your dreams. It is our dreams that give us hope, and hope is the lifeblood of possibilities. Paulo Coelho, the famous Brazilian author, he says, it is the possibility of our dreams coming true that makes life interesting. You know, a number of years ago, I was in Calgary um, on, this, on the set of this movie, uh, yeah, Cool Runnings, I keep forgetting. <laughs> I was having lunch with the extras. Actually, they were having lunch. My lunch was sat on the table as I spoke to them. Uh, they were firing you know, questions at me. And this one lady, she just kind of blurted out, my, what an interesting life. But as Paulo says, it's a possibility of her dreams coming true that makes life interesting. About a week ago, I was in Innsbruck, Austria. And as I mentioned, Innsbruck is where we first, one of the first tracks that we trained on. And I was really excited about going back to, to, to Innsbruck after all these years. But what really struck me was how different your life can be when you refuse to deny your potential for greatness. When you choose instead to dream big dreams and to keep on pushing yourself towards them. How amazing the kind of things that can happen in your life when you have hope, when you accept and believe, believe that things are better around the corner. January 17th was the date of my, la my most recent trip to Innsbruck. And that date is important, well, to me, because on January 17th, back in 1993, was the first day I went to work in the United States. That was the first day of 18 months as a cook in a kitchen, in a restaurant, in a hole in a wall restaurant in the Bronx. That day in 1993 was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That was the day we were celebrating the quintessential American dreamer. And on that day, I was starting a job that may have seemed light years away from my dream. You see, at the time, I was a newly retired army captain. I was a two-time Olympian with dreams of competing in my third Olympic Games. But starting that, on that, that job on that day didn't seem as if I was on track to achieve any of those dreams. And truth be told, there were many times during that 18 months when I felt like abandoning those dreams. There was this little voice that was telling me, man, disappear into obscurity. You know, hold your head down, work hard, and scratch out an existence. But we are not meant to just exist, are we? We're meant to live, we're meant to thrive and live our best life. So I did not listen to that voice. There was another voice instead that I was listening to. And some of you are going, whoa, he's listening to voices? Well, you, you guys don't have voices? I talk to mine all the time. And this other voice was saying to me, go pursue your dreams. Go after them. You know, Marion Williamson says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. So I decided, I listened to that other voice, and I went and I pursued other dreams, dreams that took me beyond the walls of that restaurant. And so on the anniversary 
of me starting to work there, I was traveling to Europe to give a speech to a company that was ranked top 10 global in its industry. So you have to dream. We all have dreams. As a wise man once says, we all have dreams, right? That gives us hope. They give us our dreams, hope. And the wise man says, whether you're five or you're 105, you have dreams and you should go after them. And I don't know what dreams you have. And when you look at your dreams, I'm not sure how far you can see, but this evening I want to challenge you, I want to encourage you to go as far as you can see. Because I promise you, when you get there, you'll see further. But here's, here's the thing. Most, we all have dreams and so many people are afraid of chasing those dreams because they're afraid of failing. And again, this is where I think most people get it wrong. They get it completely wrong. The worst thing ever in life is not failing to achieve your dreams. The worst thing ever is abandoning your dreams. The worst thing ever is accepting a reality that suggests or that is not conducive to your dreams taking root and blossoming. The worst thing ever is embracing a reality that kills hope. Because hope fuels the human spirit. Hope focuses us so we can achieve big goals. Hope encourages us to get over the obstacles in our lives.